we have to be very careful that we don't allow the precautionary principle and, and being cautious to stop us from moving forward with research. One of the contributions that Europe can make to developing country agriculture and to pest control in developing countries is in terms of research. Uh, High-end research to produce new chemical compounds that will kill pests but not kill anything else. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunity for that and a lot of really brilliant scientists in, in Europe that can do that. It's making sure that European policy is in line with a landscape that is continuing to change, culture that's changing, we're changing, the way we live changes, what we want out of life changes, and yet within all of that we can use sensibly and intelligently the science and the research that's available to us to enhance that. It doesn't necessarily work against it. I'm not sure that in principle it's a bad thing that Europe imports some food from developing countries. After all, bananas are quite nice things to eat and we're not going to grow bananas in Europe. What we've got to avoid is exploitative uh, capture of land by Europeans. Thank you.